Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it'd be fun to continue on with the makeup collection series they have going on. And they're delving into eyeshadow palette. If you're interested to see kind of what I have and if I'd recommend for you buying it, Go ahead and keep on watching. First palette I'm gonna go into is the Sultry AVH palette. This is a palette I believe it released last year. Really beautiful coloring. The packaging just, it got me. I was looking all online and it looks like they don't sell this anymore. So I kind of thought that was a little shocking. I just thought that was kind of interesting because Subculture, which is another palette that they have, it didn't do very well, like the formula. It was, it was a big flop and for some reason they still have that on their site. So this palette, I haven't used it a lot, but I always thought I, this is the color Bloom that just got me. We have a lot of shimmers and nudes and it was absolutely beautiful. I did want to do a little giveaway with this palette, but I ended up getting a couple other ones since they don't sell that one anymore. The next palette we're going into is the Modern Renaissance palette. This is iconic. It is beautiful. The shades are just neutral. You have some deeps. Such a great palette. I picked up one of these for a giveaway because I feel like this would be such a great Valentine's gift. So if you're looking for a gift for someone, I mean, they would just absolutely love this. You have velvet pa packaging. It's just so beautiful. One thing with Anastasia of Beverly Hills, their formula, it has a lot of fallout. So I'd always recommend going in with your eyeshadow first before you do the rest of your makeup so that you can do any cleanup then. So this is the Anastasia Prism Palette. And I bought this because it had, it looked like nothing else that they had ever done before. You have the yellows and look, Eden, I just think is beautiful. It's just a nude, but so many cool shades and dimension. I have never actually used this. I need to use it. I don't know why I bought it because I'm like, oh my gosh, the black packaging. Like I said, Anastasia always gets me with their packaging and it just looks so pretty. <laughs> sitting on a shelf, which I know that's not the reason why we should buy makeup, right guys? So it doesn't, so it just looks pretty on a shelf. I'm going to have to use it. I have been playing around with eyeshadow a little bit more. I am definitely going to have to put that to the test in a tutorial sometime. And then the last palette I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills is the Carly Bible collaboration. I do have a video on this and I'll link it down below. It's such a beautiful palette, screams Carly. The tutorial I did with this is one of my favorites. I do need to go back in and use Use this more often. I need to reach for these more often because they're not doing themselves any good sitting on a shelf. Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes usually range anywhere from $42 to $49, depending on if it's a new release. I feel like if you just even have one of these, it would be a, a really good addition to your collection. Follow me on Instagram. I do giveaways all the time. They do have a soft glam one that I did snag that I'm going to be doing a giveaway with as well, so be sure to follow me there. Going into ColourPop. So I have two ColourPop palettes, and ColourPop just makes the cutest little palettes. Like the packaging is adorable. They feel nice, they co they're compact, just so cute and these are both collaborations with Kathleen Lights. I mean, she could collab with, I don't even know, a footwear line or a sock shop, and I would probably buy whatever she sold. The first one is Dream Street. I actually have a tutorial on this, and that's the only time I actually use this. It's just beautiful. All the shade have the names on the back, which is awesome. And then we have the Zodiac Collection, which I believe she came out last year. The packaging on this just, I mean, it gets me, guys. I've used this, I believe, once as well. Lots of metallics. The one thing I did know about both of these eyeshadow palettes, the shadows themselves, so you do have to work with them a little bit more than your average palette. I just need to work with them more to see if I get that payoff, but for the price or how adorable they are, I do think they're worth a shot. Hey, they do have their super shot shadows, which do have such a big payoff and they're really, and I think they're definitely worth the price and they're affordable. Now this next palette, this is the Desi Times Katie Friendcation palette. This has absolutely been one of my favorites. This is a palette I wasn't going to get when it first came out just because I don't use eyeshadow palettes as much as I should, but I'm so glad I picked this up. The packaging is beautiful. The formulas for these eyeshadows are out of this world. If you like to do your makeup first, all your face makeup, this palette would serve you so well. The shadows are creamy, they don't have a lot of fallout, and so you can do all your blending without even having to worry about cleanup afterward. And so that was a big selling feature to me. And on top of that, I'm a big fan of Desi and Katie. I think they're such an adorable friend group. Whenever they come out with something, I know that it's going to be really good. I actually did purchase one of these for a giveaway as well. So definitely check that out on my Instagram if you're within the right time frame. Right now you can snag that for $38, which is a discount. I think it used to be 50. So you might be trying to start to get rid of them, but I definitely think it's something that you would just 
love having in your collection just because the formula is so top notch. All right, let's talk a little bit about this bad boy, the KKW Times Mario eyeshadow palette. Love the packaging. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous and it is $45 for this palette. I've never seen, I love how there's a photo of them on here and I love the KKW Times Mario, how that's in like a different texture. The shades in themselves are beautiful. I will say, this is one of the products I was a little disappointed by with the whole collab. I did purchase the whole thing, and I don't know what it is about the shadows and how they're pressed. They do have a little bit of a kickback, and I do have sensitive eyes, and I do feel like these do make my eyes a little bit sensitive. I don't, the metallics, I mean, their metallics are a little powdery, and I hate to say that because Mario, I really do feel like he, when he puts his name on something, he backs it up 100% and maybe I just don't know how to use them quite as well as I'm not a makeup artist, but this was one palette that I wouldn't say that you need to run out to the stores or online to get just because I love having it in my collection, but there's just something about it that I'm like, hmm, that could have been a little bit better. I mean, the packaging on this palette is just, it's beautiful. I hold this and I, I just love it. This is the first edition of the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette. The shades are just gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful, beautiful. My older sister bought this. I mean, I have to keep it in my collection. It's great. I've used it a few times. The colors are so flattering. With the more glittery ones, I do recommend going in with like a glitter glue or something like that to make them stay just because that's just kind of the formula they have with Cosmo anyway. The rest are, I mean, it's just, so dimensional. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Carly Bible palette. It's $65, so it's a little bit pricey. If you don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and you want to add one to your collection, they did an updated version of that one that you can snag on Sephora that I think you might really like. Now let's get into Morphe. So this is the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill palette. Humongous. I mean, you have every shade you could possibly need to get any look you could possibly want. $39, you can get it at Ulta or you can get it right off their site. It just depends. I don't reach for this at all just because it's so big. It's just so hard for me to grab this and it doesn't have a mirror, so I'm gonna have to like find a mirror somewhere else and so I don't reach for it. I only use it a couple times so I can't really tell you much about it as far as that goes. I just know that when Jaclyn Hill usually puts her name on something, she puts a lot of thought and time into it and now that she's starting her own brand, it should be really fun to see what else she comes up with. Being Jaclyn Hill and Morph, I love the concept of this, the vault collection, when she came out with this, how these were all of the colors that she wasn't able to fit into the big palette and you know, these have mixed reviews online and I'm not quite sure why because I've only had a good, good experience with them. I mean, I haven't used all of them. This is called Armed and Gorgeous. Then we have Ring of the Alarm, the Ling Boss, which I really love this palette and I was really impressed with it. There's this Dark Magic. Love how compact these are. They're only, if you buy the whole vault, I believe this is like, what, 50 bucks? If you buy them all separately, $15 each. And so you can kind of pick and choose, but really cute packaging and I love how compact that is. All right, we're getting close to the end. Get this little Morphe palette, just a normal eyeshadow palette. I have been impressed with how these have blended out. This is the Day Slayer palette. So you just have all those nudes, which I think are really beautiful. I've always been pretty impressed with Morphe's quality. The first brand, one of the first brands I went to and I'm like, okay, I need to get a bunch of different colors. I need a good formula. And this is before they did the, their whole rebranding. And so now that they have, they have some really good stuff. I don't reach for it as much as I want to just because I spent money on other palettes that I feel like deserve my attention. The last eyeshadow palette I have and that I've most recently added to my collection is the Tati Beauty Volume 1. I saw it and it was just absolutely breathtaking. The mirror really is so, like this is a high-end mirror. When I got this in the mail and I opened it in front of my husband, he asked how much it was and I'm like, well, it was around $60 with shipping and everything like that. And he's like, really? It looks like a $100 palette. So coming from um, my husband who really like, I mean, he's clueless, right? When it comes to makeup, him looking at it and just seeing the presentation and being so impressed and thinking that it was a $100 palette, I really like it. But I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this soon. I've used it a couple times and I really, really enjoy it. And I'm excited to see what else Tati releases this year. Anyway, that is, those are all my eyeshadow palettes. I've kind of really taken a step back from buying eyeshadow palettes because I have so many. I don't use them as often as I'd like just because as a mom who really has time to do all these intricate eye looks I don't but I do 
want to gravitate a little bit more into my comfort zone, make some of these, you know, a part of my routine. Yet to purchase a drugstore eyeshadow palette, I'm a little scared because I want to, if I do purchase one, I want it to be really amazing and blend really well. So please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for taking your time and watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way